Ah, oh, he was going so well, John. And now we've fallen out. So close. Hi, it's me again, and yet another ex-BBC person is speaking out about how ridiculous the TV licence fee is. Another day, another story. Well, there's another story that cheers me up. Anyway, let's take a look at it together. Maybe we'll have a chat. Ex-BBC man John Humphreys says simply unacceptable licence fee must go. The BBC's licence fee is antiquated, former 9 o'clock news anchor man and Today programme host John Humphreys has said in a searingly honest appraisal of the corporation's future. <laughs> I like reading headlines like that. It's good, isn't it? Makes me happy. I have a very sad life. But in a move which is likely to prove highly contentious, the journalist has said the annual £159 fee should be replaced by a direct tax to cover the cost of the BBC's news coverage, but not light entertainment. Ah, oh, he was going so well, John, and now we've fallen out. So close. Writing in the Daily Mail, Mr Humphreys recalled having lunch with current 10 o'clock news host Hugh Edwards shortly after the Welshman had been offered the prestigious role. When I presented the 9 o'clock news in the 80s, the audience hovered between 8 and 9 million. Today, the 10 news is barely half that number. The rise of streaming services such as Netflix on one hand and mobile phone technology on the other meant young people rarely have ever bothered with television news, Mr Humphrey said. Good. good. No good can come from watching the news. It's just going to depress you, especially BBC news. Just ignore it. Life's better. I don't really watch the news and I'm very happy about it. And what you do in your house is your business, I guess. He explained, Why in heaven's name would they settle down in front of a television at a time dictated by a broadcaster to watch a programme that will contain mostly stuff that doesn't reflect their own interests when a mobile phone will give them everything they want whenever they want it? Yeah, again, he's back on form here, isn't he? I don't understand how broadcast TV still exists. Once you switch to catch up, how can you go back to broadcast TV? I can't imagine waiting for, what, Thursday at 9 o'clock for my favourite show to come on. Right, what bollocks to that. I watch it when I want to watch it. I just stream the thing down. And uh, yeah, that's how life is now, isn't it? Why why watch the ten o'clock news when, you know, all the kids are getting their news off Twitter, probably. I don't know. I don't use Twitter. I'm not really down with the kids either, to be honest. Use the YouTube, obviously, but I don't know what the kids do. I don't know. He added, the BBC's viewing figures tell the grim story. They have gone into a steep decline and more and more younger people seem barely aware that BBC News exists. Yeah, it's, it's true from the younger people I have spoken to. It is simply unacceptable to charge people a fee for something they may not be using. My words exactly, Mr Humphreys. I've been saying that for a while. Good for you. Glad someone's caught up. No longer could the BBC expect people to be legally obliged to cover the cost of its drama or light entertainment output via the licence fee, Mr Humphrey said, with the same going for sport. What, what sport do they bloody have? Their Olympic coverage was an embarrassment this year, from what I gather. They're only allowed to show two sports at a time. What if, oh, I can't even be dealing with it. An absolute embarrassment for sport, the BBC. He did not specify the precise funding model, but it seems likely he was advocating Netflix's approach, i.e. a subscription service. However, Mr Humphreys added, news is different. Oh, he's letting himself down. These are scary times when so many gullible people believe whatever rubbish they're told on social media. Well, if there's so many gullible people who are believing whatever they're told, how can you trust the news? Never have we needed a trusted national news broadcaster more. Yeah, we don't have one, do we? So how do we pay for it? Subscription is not the answer. Nobody should be denied access to a truly independent news service. It, the BBC News isn't independent, but I'm not going to get into that rant here because the next line is what does me. I fear there is only one way. Taxation. And I know that won't be popular. No, it's not popular. The TV licence cannot be turned into a mandatory tax, like it has in many other countries. A lot of European countries have the telly licence as a mandatory tax. And the more stories I read like this, are they just putting it out to try and normalise it? Let us sort of mull it over or just get it out there? Because there's an ex-BBC man, has he been told to write about it and just mention it and just start sort of, you know, planting the seed of taxation? Because the TV licence will be reviewed in 2027 about how it's going to be funded. And at that point, it could be turned into a subscription service, it could be scrapped off and the BBC will have to go commercial or close, or they could start moving towards taxation. 
Some will say, why not sell advertising? Because it would hammer the likes of ITN and Sky, who rely on their income from commercials, and taxation is fairer. Would it, though? Are you saying, because the BBC News is so good, if they went commercial, people wouldn't pay to have their ads on Sky News or ITN News because everyone would want to sponsor BBC News? Or are you saying that because no one would want to advertise anywhere near BBC News? The BBC spent £348 million a year on news and current affairs. And with 30 million taxpayers, the bill would amount to roughly £11 a head. Although Mr Humphreys suggested the less well-off would be exempt. What, like OAPs? Anyone over the age of 75 would get it for free, would they, Mr Humphreys? He said, however you look at it, it's a vanishingly small price. It doesn't matter what the price is. It's whether you should be paying it or not. It doesn't matter if it's a quid. If it's a quid you shouldn't be paying, you shouldn't be made to pay it. It's not the price. It's the point. Uh, well, sorry. I went off there, didn't I? However you look at it, it's a vanishingly small price to pay for a new service that's truly reliable and impartial, whatever the pressure from the vested interests. I d I, BBC News is not independent. I, d I don't care what anybody says. Whether a dedicated BBC News service would meet those standards remain to be seen, as does the bigger question of whether its audience would include the young. It wouldn't. Well, that's made me good and angry. I thought he was going to be on our side for a minute, and then he turned up. He made some very fair points there. But he's just coming at it the wrong way, isn't he? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Hopefully you'll read them. You never know. He might. It's not going to, is he? At his age, he probably can't even work a computer, can he? Sitting there watching the news, probably too busy to read this sort of But anyway, I'll go off again if I'm not careful. So just leave your comments below. We'll have a bit of a chat about it. And I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.